Uh, a few days ago, I went in my trunk to get some stuff out. I noticed a spare. I uh, had gone flat. I took it out, and I uh, I use a bicycle pump to keep the tires up on my car because um, I don't trust all the electronic stuff. And after endless trying to get this pump to um, get the spare back up uh, to pressure, the, the the manual pump burned out on me. I tossed it, and I got to thinking. If this had been an emergency and I had to get going somewhere, I'd have been screwed. Because uh, just manually trying to pump up a tire that size with a air, with just a hand air pump, took two, it would take too damn long. So I broke down and I got something. And that's this here, an electric jack. And um, I actually used it a couple times and I absolutely love it. Uh, it's a little expensive, but to me it was worth, it's worth every penny. Mm. An electric jack here, good for five tons. I'm going to try it out on my truck later on, but I've tried it out on my car several times. Has um, air, a light, and of course your jack that um, runs up and down. Everything in this one little unit here. Um, and it's great. Also, an impact wrench right here to break everything loose. And, of course, it comes with two sockets, but these sockets actually um, have sizes on both ends. So it's actually four sockets all together. Uh, it has a glass breaker, seat belt cutter there, and, of course, um, an adapter to run on your battery or, of course, from your cigarette lighter. It's a fantastic little kit, but what I did have to do is, um, like I said, the impact wrench, um, you have a loosen and a tighten. Titan doesn't really work. Um, it, it'll run your lugs up slowly and snug them. But what I did to kind of speed things up, I actually added my own um, breaker bar and an extension there that does fit the sockets here into the kit. I found that um, it's much faster than trying to wait on this thing to tighten it up. And it doesn't tighten them all the way. It just snugs them up. So I found it a little quicker here. And what I've done, I did a video on using it in case I do end up getting a flat or there was an emergency to see how long it would actually take from the time I stop to the time I get going again. So let me demonstrate it for you. Um, it took roughly seven minutes. That's why I sped the um, video up. I didn't really see the need to stretch it out into two videos. I sped it up to fit in that three minutes. But uh, it took roughly a little less than seven minutes from the time I would have pulled over, changed the tire, got everything back together, put it in the trunk, and got back on the road. So highly impressed with this little gadget. If you've got a little money to spend and you're worried about being stranded somewhere and you may need uh, the need to get somewhere in an emergency, I would highly suggest the thing. Um, I'm glad I bought it.
Appreciate you guys hanging around, being patient with me. Have a great day.